everyone today's session we are going to deal with how to create a file adapter in source 12c and we are going to read multiple records from the file and we are going to insert those record into the table so we will start this application from scratch so let's get started so let's go and first let's create an empty project select so a project from here and let's give some name customer file polar click next select the mp composite and then we are done all right so first thing first let's create the source root file adapter you can just drag and drop here uh, let's give some valid name uh, customer or file adapter service click next we will define the operation in schema later and we will uh, we will see how to import a xml file or a text file and generate the schema out of it click next for now this is the existing gnd we are going to use click next so what we are going to do we are going to perform a read operation so select the read from here and click next select the directory so for me the directory will be in my local uh, in my local machine so this is going to be my directory and then click next so what i'm going to do i'm going to read my text file so i'm just giving anything with dot txt and then click next uh let's see in center interval to maybe 10 second click next now here is the most important part so either you can have a custom schema or you can generate a schema so let's go and see how to generate a schema from the nxsd schema builder click this icon over here click next and let's give some valid name file input dot xsd click next looks fine okay so what we are going to do we are going to browse our sample file so what i have done for the sake of simplicity i have my file over here and this is how it looks like so this is the id of the customer this is the name of the customer this is the customer's profession and this is the city of the customer and we have got like 10 records into this text file so we are going to import this text file click browse and all right let's go back over here and this is the text file click ok all right so now you can see as soon as we imported the text file it generated the table for us click next over here file contains multiple record yes and the multiple records are of the single tab right they are all of the same data type and we have got multiple records in our file click next let's give some uh, so the root element we can keep it root let's give a name for each record let's give us customer customer looks fine click next let's go with the default click next click next and now what we can do we can do a quick test and see so this is how it will generate an xml payload out of the file so if we have got let's say 10 record this is how the xml payload will look like so let me just go and maximize the screen can i i don't think i can all right so this is the customer record or this is the customer payload so it has got C1, this stands for the ID, C2 stands for the name, C3 stands for the profession, and the C4 stands for your city. All right, so that, that is fine. Click next, and we are done. So see here, the schema which we have generated got imported automatically. Click next, and we are done. All right. Cool. So now the next thing we're going to do as part of this tutorial is we are going to insert the record into the table. For that, what we need, we need a database adapter. So let's go and write database and let's drag it here. So let me go down. So this is my custom table. 
and we are going to generate the database adapter for this custom table now let's give some valid name let's give us customer db service click next this is my existing jndi which i am using which has been configured in my local web uh, local web logic click next and what we are going to do we are going to perform an activity so it will be only insert activity click next so you can perform a stored proc also but then again you have to create a stored proc out of scratch where you have to give the input type as an object because you have to send multiple records from the file back to the table so we'll make it very simple we will just perform an insert operation into the table now then click next here and let's go and import the table so this is the customer table run this query and this is the table which we are going to use the same table okay now put it down here to the right hand side click ok let the tables get imported and so what is happening underneath is it's generating the schema and the mapping file for this table because we are going to do an insert operation on the table so when it's importing the table it's generating the schemas and it's generating the xsd for it so once the import is done successfully we can see the schemas and all it's taking a bit long okay and the schema is being imported successfully click next click next uh, we don't need this created it because this will be generated automatically so the this is the primary key the customer id the name city and the profession type click next uh, let's go with the default so let's change here we don't want to make four attempt we want to make one attempt and the interval for the one attempt will be let's make it 10 second click next and let's say click finish and the database adapter uh, <clears throat> artifacts got created over here so let's go and click a save all right now the next thing that is left out is uh, creating the bpl so let's go and add bpl over here and let's give some valid names uh, maybe a file bpl process and let's define the service later and then let's click ok now join the wires from the left hand side to the bpl and then join this wire click ok this to this oops yeah click save all right now let's go and implement the bpl process so first thing first we need to receive the input from the file so let's go and drag the receive activity over here and the receive will be from the file adapter now let me maximize this thing uh, we can go for variable let's go with the default click add and apply and okay first thing this is the most important thing in the session you must create this checkbox you must check this checkbox to create the instance otherwise once you're generating the sar file it will get filled so click apply and click ok now the next thing is to invoke the database adapter drag it here and then here let me maximize this okay uh, let's add the input let's go with the default and let's make it invoke db apply okay we are good for now so the only thing that is left is the transform so the transform will translate the input payload to the target payload or the client payload to the target payload so in our case the client payload is our file adapter and the target payload is our custom database adapter so let's quickly go and run the let's quickly go and browse the transform activity we'll use an x query double click the x query let me maximize this thing okay so let's go and select this input field and the input field will be my file click ok click ok here let's go and browse the target file our target file is our database adapter 
click apply and then okay all right so here we have our x query so let's quickly go and write some x query over here let me go here all right so we are going to map this to this and this is the customer id this is the customer name and what we have next let's quickly go to the file which we have created so the first one is the name the second sorry first one is the id second one is the name the third one is a profession so let's go c3 to profession and c4 to the customer city all right guys so we are done with this entire service now hopefully this service should run let's go and generate the jar file so let's go to deploy uh let's go to a new deployment profile let's go and so a sar file or uh, let's give a name as customer file polar click okay click okay and go again and deploy using customer file profile generate a sar file the revision id is one click next and click finish so memory it gets uh, created let's go to the em console let's go and sign in so the most important thing which is the most important session of this entire most important part of this session is the data source creation so for this entire activity where we are doing a batch insertion always make sure the data source should be of non xa so let's quickly go to the database let's go to the deployment let's go to the database adapter let's go to the configuration outbound connection pools maximize this and this is the data source or sorry this is a j india we are using so this is of type non xa if if this would have been a type of xa then this would have been copy pasted over here all right so let's go back to the general again and we are still waiting for web logic em console to open up so we'll just pause the video for a moment till the time em console starts up all right guys so the em console is in front of us now and the sar file has already been created this is the folder where the sar file has been created so let's go to em console and do a deployment go to soar deployment deploy choose the file and my file is in my my work so application demo customer file folder deploy and yeah 2225 let's select this part click next now we have to select the default partition click next and let's go and deploy okay all right the jar file has been deployed successfully let's go and close it let's go to the flow instances and there won't be any instance because there is no file has been placed into that location so let's quickly go and put a file so let's copy this file and this is our input path so if we go back and we see the file adapter So this is where it will take this is where the incoming physical directory where it will read the files so let me go and paste it there paste it over here all right uh, let's see if this is getting pulled let me quickly go and check the polling interval uh should be in the file after jca Pulling interval is of 10 second. Let's go and see. Yeah, the file has been pulled successfully. You can see there is no file now. Let's go and check the instance. Yes, the instance has been created. Let's go and check the instance and the flow details. Let's open the file people process. And this is what we received from the file. You see the list of all the customer. Okay, 
and let's close this panel and let's see what we are invoking so what we are doing we are invoking this entire payload to the customer so let's go and check whether this records got inserted successfully or not here we are so the entire record got inserted into the table successfully so that's all for the demo guys and this entire project along with the code and repository will be there in git thank you for this session and have a good day bye